Here's the Harbor Freight folding and welding table, shown the underside. As you can see at the top, is, which is a single kind of welded piece, it has two right angle brackets that connect the top of the table to the angle adjustment pieces. And there's a little nut with the flat washer that holds that bracket onto the top and that spaces it off the bottom of the table, which affects the planning design. Vertical stanchion is a single fixed piece, unlike the Northern Tool table, which is two pieces and has a vertical height adjustment. I believe the Eastwood table is made by the exact same manufacturer. And the legs fold together, and I believe that they're probably at a different angle on the uh, Eastwood Northern Tool Strong Hand Tools table, which would affect the plan design. Here I've created a uh, fairly simple model of the Harbor Freight uh, folding welding table. I've got the uh, right angle brackets into the bottom side of the table and the nuts because they're critical to the interface of the plenum. I also have the handles. Uh, the base is all modeled as fixed. Uh, since the plenum is only intended for when it's fully extended, there's no need to have that model actually articulate. Uh, I've been doing this for over 40 years and I really like using the solid modeling tools which are dimensional driven. So so I've modeled the sheet metal plenum. It uh, is a little quite a bit different than what the original cardboard prototype was but creates a plenum volume which allows a, a vacuum to be formed underneath the slots of the table. Quite likely the handle when the table is tightened will not be in the F position. When you put these end pieces on, they will need to be in a vertical orientation like that. You can see down here there's a little bit of gap around the legs and uh, that's going to be just fine because our blower will be just a little bit oversized. Uh, we have significant slot sizes to allow for uh, variation on how the ends come together and then we have a very large uh, screw with a big fender washer and it's all intended to be welded together. You can't really purchase something that's got like a number six sheet metal screw with that large of a bearing surface so we're just going to, I'm just going to make a custom one about how it's coming apart and uh, so this is, you can see the unmodified table. There are absolutely no modifications have to be done to the Harbor Freight uh, welding table to do this and in what goes in first are the purple pieces, which are, I call the side plenums, and they will have the, uh, the fender washer in place so that you don't have to deal with loose washers and screws and they're all there ready to go. And so you bring the side plenums in and they'll sit kind of loosely, they'll rest against the bottom side under this right angle bracket here and then down against the bottom of the leg. and then. Once you have those two pieces in place, then you bring in uh, the uh, the end plenums, and uh, you just the big the slots with the chamfering on the edges guide underneath of the the fender washer and across the screws, and uh, so you just go in and out a couple times, and uh, so that shows. How it's intended to go together. 